Hello friends, welcome to Islington Listens, wisdom from a community of faith that doesn't think the same, vote the same, or love the same, but we are trying our best to follow in the way of Jesus with compassion and hope. A guitar makes music, and so does a clarinet, a trombone, or a cello. And it's not hard to find analogies between one's faith and music. But what about the case that carries the instrument? What good is it? The case usually isn't especially beautiful. No one lavishes a mere violin case with the same care that you'd give a Stradivarius itself. And so perhaps we could picture the music to be like God. The music is real, and yet it defies definition. It's hard to capture. It has a life of its own. It's moving in mysterious ways, and it moves us in mysterious ways as well. And we can picture some people as God's instruments. They make the music. I feel like I'm looking at a good example right here in my friend and colleague Jason. They translate the music that permeates the universe into something we can hear and respond to. But not everyone can be a Stradivarius. After all, there was only one Jesus. But it's the case that protects the instrument. If Joni Mitchell were carrying her guitar all over the place, out in the open, exposed on a plane, on an escalator, through crowds in a grocery store, it would soon be reduced to kindling, incapable of making any more than a brief burst of flame. It's the case that takes all the, the harsh beating that the world can offer. It, it's the case that protects the instrument so that it can continue to make music. And perhaps some of us, maybe even most of us, are a lot like a guitar case. We get bounced around by life a little bit. Sometimes we get a bit beat up at times. But through that, we enable the instrument to keep playing. We allow the music to be heard. And then when you open the case, you notice inside the impression left by the shape of the instrument that makes the music. And I feel God not only takes each of us as we are, but celebrates each of us as we are. Let's join our hearts together in prayer now. Loving God, we thank you for taking us as we are and for calling us forth into who you would have us be. We are grateful today for the opportunity to gather here and worship together, for the invitation to attune our hearts to your presence, awakening more and more to the symphony of life that surrounds us. Help us, God, to find you in the simple, everyday moments, hearing your voice in the melodies of morning birds, feeling your gentle touch in the rustle of the leaves. Help us to notice your presence, God, in the laughter of children, in phones ringing, in the warmth of friends' embraces, in the various activities and tasks that fill our days. Open our eyes and our hearts, God, to the need in the world around us and empower us to share from our abundance to play our note in the wider music of the world. Help us to share with hearts aware that, that you are truly both giver and receiver, and that we at best become vessels of your blessing. And as we share of ourselves, may we also be willing to receive from others the gift of music, the gift of a smile, of gratitude, of wisdom, we pray, God, that our hearts may continue opening to the sacred in the everyday as we recognize more and more deeply your grace in the rhythm of our lives. We lift all these things to you in prayer 
as we follow in Jesus the way, the one who loves us like a mother and walks with us like a brother, praying together, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thanks for listening, friends. For other ways to connect, go to IslingtonUnited.org. May God's wisdom and love keep finding you.